Dear IGF members, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are all safe and well. It is my honor and privilege to be part of the second opening consultations and contribute to the briefings on behalf of the African Union. As you are certainly aware of the Commission, the EU Commission has taken the lead not only to serve as the Secretariat for the African IGF, but also it has initiated a vast capacity building program on internet governance. Under the auspices of the African Union, the IGF processes is being implemented in Africa at the national, regional, and continental levels, linking all stakeholders to discuss issues pertaining to the internet, reflecting the need of our respective communities. These African processes, managed and supported by the EU Commission, facilitates exchange of experiences and ideas between stakeholders from the same geographic spaces and contribute to the better engagement with internet governance forums communities worldwide. We have always made sure that this is an inclusive representation and diversity with different stakeholders, such as policymakers from government, engineers, industrialists, academia, activities, and civil societies. By the way, we, ha we have seen more and more uh, African leaders at the highest levels, head of, head of states, being interested on the matters related to Internet Governance Forum. And this is because of two major resolutions the African Union organ have made it possible. Uh, uh, the, the first one is related to the resolution of the fourth uh, ministerial conference of ministers in charge of ICTs in 2012 that states, and I quote, to support the establishment of national IGF to create dialogue between our stakeholders on ICT for the development issues and facilitate the country's participation in the regional and African IGF processes as well as in the global IGF. The second one is related to the African Union declaration that is for the first time has been developed from bottom up processes. And it took three years really to bring it to the attention of the head of state. This uh, declaration, among other things, has said, and I quote, requested the African Union, Commission, NEPAD, United Nations Economic Commission to increase the participation of member states specialized institutions and so on in the internet governance discussion and related public policy processes included but not limited those taking place in the UN, AU, ICANN, ITF, AFRINIC and so on. Now with regard to our activities at the national level, the IGF African processes addresses specific issues arising from the need of different stakeholders in the country itself. Currently, there are 31 operational national IGFs and many more are being uh, processed or are in formation with several emerging cells certainly this year. 2020 was expected really to be the year of peak enrollment of new national IGFs with support of the policy and regulation initiative for Digital Africa, PRIDA, which is the new project funded by the European Union. However, Unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, many countries are not in the position to organize face-to-face -face meetings. And now we are making preparation to organize virtual IGFs with the technical support from this uh, important project, which is PRIDA. At the level of the five AU regional, uh, regional geographic regions, we have put in place IGF forums under the leadership of the regional economic communities such as OMA, ECOWAS, ECRAS, AC, and SADEC, in order to consolidate national initiatives and create a unique space and a unified voice where policy and technical internet issues of countries of the region can be discussed. All of them had to plan, have had planned to organize their annual conferences in 2020, but due to the pandemics, we only have to uh, confirmation for the West African region. At the continental level, we still, as I mentioned at the beginning, 
uh, running the Secretariat of the African IGF uh, in collaboration with the United Nations Economic Communities, NEPAD, and so on. Uh, uh, just to remind you that the African IGF has been created in 2011 in the margin, uh, in the margin of the global IGF in Kenya in 2011. The African IGF's operations are governed, are governed by an African IGF charter that we have developed in multi-stakeholder processes. And we have created also our own African advisory uh, group, which is AFIGF MAG. And we are holding every year meetings. Since 2012, the meetings are coming and the number eight, the eighth African IGF took place in 2019 in Jamena. The next one is expected to be in, uh, in Lagos, Nigeria this year. Uh, but without being, uh, uh, without waiting for surprises coming due to the pandemic, we already are, have developed a toolkit for the organization of the virtual Internet Governance Forums Conference in Africa. And we hope that in case of, we'll be able to organize this conference virtually. Now, uh, I couldn't conclude without really mentioning the uh, PRIDA project, which is actually the policy and regulation initiative for Digital Africa that is really created uh, to support the, and build the capacity for Africans in the matter related to internal governance. The project is funded by the European Union and so far we have organized several uh, uh, workshops. We have trained trainers to be able to train uh, as much as uh, people uh, within the continent in matters related to internal governance. In collaboration with Duplo Foundation, we have developed several manuals uh, on how to set up or to create the international IGFs and uh, uh, many other training that has been uh, taken place uh, within uh, the, uh, uh, the context of national, regional and global IG, uh, continental IGFs. I wouldn't conclude here without really mentioning the fact that the African Union just uh, adopted the digital transformation strategy for 2020-2030 to transform all the development sectors using digital technology, which pose the issue of the digital uh, collaboration, digital cooperation, and specifically the policing and the matter related to privacy, sec uh, uh, security, and all those matters that really are uh, pertain to the matter related to the internet governance. I, in summary, I would just want to emphasize two things. One is this, the AC still, and will continue to take the leadership on matters related to the internet governance forum at the regional, at the regional national and continental levels. And that bearing in mind, the recommendation of the, sec, uh, the uh, UN Secretary General report on the digital cooperation will look forward for enhanced IGF processes that will really make uh, an impact on the ground. And finally, I will want to assure you that the AUC will be glad to support all those processes and give, uh, make the Africa really playing its role in the global discussion related to matters of internal governance. With that dialogue of here, I thank you very much for your kind attention and I hope you will be keeping yourself safe and your loved ones safe also. Thank you very much.